Hello. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to filter a lava lamp. This is my first time ever filtering a lava lamp, so if I do anything blatantly wrong, feel free to leave me some constructive criticism down in the comments. Um, to do this project, I started by building a custom jig. You'll see me putting it together as I go through this video. First thing I'm doing here is removing the bottle cap. I'm using a small flathead screwdriver to pry the prongs back one at a time very gently. You want to kind of keep it as close to its original shape as you can. And I'm using a mini Sawyer filter, a couple of two liter bottles, one I leave intact, one I, I cut about two thirds of the way down. The condensation you see in the bottle that's intact is just some distilled water that I use to, to rinse it out. The black feet that you see on the jig are actually something from a company called 2x4 Basics that are meant for another application. This thing I'm holding here is a 3D printed something or other that I, I came up with that goes on the top. It allows you to put the Sawyer filter right in the top. It allows for a variety of bottle sizes as well. I thought it was pretty handy. I like to point out how cloudy this lamp came. This is, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I mentioned it. This is Drug Rug from Spencer's. That's the name of it. Um, it came terribly cr cloudy. This lamp's run four or five full cycles now, and that's about as good as it's gotten. So I don't know if I'm making a mistake here by not pouring it down the wall. I figured I'd just kind of see what happened. This lamp was cheap. I figured this would be a pretty good experiment. This was after about 12 minutes of filtering, completely gravity assisted. I didn't put any pressure behind it or anything like that. There seemed to be a really tiny bit amount of fluid still left in the top that couldn't get in the filter. I, it was a minuscule amount. I figured I could just top it off with distilled water after I was done. This is a custom holder I 3D printed. This height is meant specifically for 14.5 inch lamps and I haven't designed it yet but I'm going to make another one specifically for 17 inch. So I'm actually filtering the master fluid a second time, I figured it couldn't hurt. This was after about five minutes. You could see you could see the card much better than you could at the start of the video. And this was about after ten minutes of filtering. I've read that it's important to make sure it's at full operating temperature before you cap it. I don't know the reason why behind that exactly. Maybe something to do with the pressure once it heats up. Uh, not quite sure. I'm using a hose clamp. I think this is a, this might be a 5 8 inch. You might be able to use a half inch and a paper towel. I'm using this to just recrimp the bottle cap. It's still close to its original shape because it came off very gently at the start. So this shouldn't be too difficult.
I spent about a minute and a half tightening it, untightening it, rotating the bottle, you know, maybe uh, 100 degrees or so, and then retightening it again and undoing it. And I did this a couple times until I got the bottle cap to the point where you almost couldn't spin it by hand at all. And then I almost made a big whoopsie and I wanted to turn it upside down to show you it wouldn't leak and then decided that was a terrible idea. And this is how it's looking. Big improvement from the start. Thanks for watching.